Hi everyone, welcome again back to the channel and another questions and answers uh, episode. Uh, today I am going to be covering my most asked question and that is all about metering, uh, particularly with uh, apps. Uh, I normally always use an app um, simply because most of them are three or only require a small uh, contrib contribution uh, to purchase them. Um, and a lot of people message me about what apps I use, uh, how they work, and if they're reliable. So there's two I'm going to be covering today. Uh, one I use pretty much all the time now, and uh, probably the other one is probably one of the most popular ones out there. And uh, the first thing you want to do when you get one of these apps is to make sure it's reading correctly. Now, between different phones I've had the results can vary, normally only very slightly. So what you want to do first is to match them up against, ideally something like a digital camera. Uh, so you take a picture of your digital camera and you have a look at the settings, you take a metered reading with your app and you see if they match up. If they don't slightly, you can make adjustments on these in the app, uh, normally like an exposure compensation or something, just to stop, drop drop them either a stop half a stop or something or add a stop to them just to kind of balance it out a little bit now i'd recommend doing these at various uh, locations or various images uh, so inside uh, say a view into a, a shaded area into a sunny area just to kind of make sure the app's um, doing what it's meant to be doing and it's set up how it's meant to be set up. Once you've got these um, exposure compensations put in place, they should should stay safe permanently, but do just keep an eye. If they're far out, it'll be an issue, but most half a stop here there isn't gonna to be too much of a, a big problem for most of the stuff you're gonna be doing. So my first spot today, I am here at this lovely little church. Uh, I've got my Ondo 4x5 with me again, and I am going to open the first app, which is this one. Hopefully you can see it. Now with this one, uh, it's got a little button at the top, which will adjust to where it's taking the meter reading. Ideally you want the one with the camera so you can actually see it. Now you've got to make sure the ISO, which is the little wheel on the side, is set to your film speed, so mine is 100. Now what I'll do with this, I'll take a, a reading of the church, which let's say we're going with um, F22, that comes out at an eighth. Then we, we've got some nice cloud to say, so we'll take a meter reading in the sky, and that only drops down to 15th of a second. So from here, you can then try and work out um, if you're using a pinhole camera like me, um, we then want to switch over to the aperture. So I'm using an app called Exposure Calculator. And in this, on the top bit, it says current exposure. I'll put the aperture in as F22 is what we metered at. And shutter speed for that was eighth except between the eighth and the fifteenth so normally i'll try and find or settle with something in the middle just to try and get a nice balance so i want more in the shadow detail the highlights are normally pretty good on film so i'm gonna go over the tenth or tenth of the second and i said 100 and on the bottom we're going to convert that over to uh, so my on 4x5 has got an aperture of 160 so we leave it on that, have the ISO again at 100, and that gives me a re light meter reading of five seconds. So now the next issue we've got is with film, you get the reciprocity failure, which normally occurs over one second. So in another app, Exposure Assistant, um, I'll put in the film, which is at the top there, Frame pan 100, five seconds, which is already there, and that gives me an exposure time of 28.3 seconds. So, 
the other app which I use and use most now is this one. Now on this you actually have pinhole apertures. Unfortunately it's not got the 160 I use so normally I just round it up to the 180. I'll put the ISF 100 in here and if I hold it up that will again tell me a nice centered reading there is around four five seconds come into the shadows it's getting a bit more up in the sky it's less and then with, uh, with this one as well i can add filters so I can do add two stops to that so then that gives me that reading as well um, and again it's got the exposure uh, adjust at the bottom there as well and with this one also, it's also got a little spot meter in, so you can touch somewhere on the image. It'll take a metered reading for that little section. And if you're in a position where you can't quite see your screen, you can just hit the button which you'd normally use to take a picture. And what it'll do, it'll actually capture that kind of as an image and all the information that you need. And then you go by that. So for this image, we've got a five second metered reading and uh, adding the reciprocity failure is 30 seconds now on this app also you can add the reciprocity failure so we go to that add the five seconds and we get the adjusted timer it's just rounded up to three 30 seconds which is absolutely perfect so we'll set our shot up and hopefully get a nice uh, exposed image here Okay, so I've got my shot set up. Uh, we're gonna go for this 30 second exposure. I'm using the top pinhole. If you wanna understand them, make sure you watch my uh, previous uh, question and answers video. Let's go. So hopefully from that we've had a nice even exposure and hopefully you've now got a bit more of a understanding of how I go about metering my shots. So it's uh, a meter for the shadows, a meter for the highlights. And I kind of find that just in between balance, normally more favoring the shadows. Uh, obviously if certain areas are gonna be slightly different, if I'm in the woods, uh, then I'll, only be getting a metered reading of um, be like the, the tree trunk or something, the main part of that image. And that'll be the exposure I go by. So you've got to make sure you've got the correct aperture, the correct ISO to match your film, and add in your reciprocity failure as well for them longer exposures. So anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this little video and if you have any questions please message me and i'll either answer the best i can or maybe even put a video together for you thanks for watching guys see you next time and please subscribe and like